Hey guys, it's Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be checking out Sujin and her a long awaited return to K pop with her solo debut and her song, Agashi. It's in Korean, so I don't think this is like anything meant to be in English. So, anyways, it's been how many years since she's been gone? Three? Three or four? I know four seems too long, probably three, two or three. I never would have thought, to be honest, that she would ever return to the idol life. Just because, I don't know, with the way it was like panning out, especially with Cube Entertainment, I never would have thought that she would have actually would have returned, but she did, and I'm super excited for it. You know, like, Sujin was one of my favorite members in G Idol when they were six so I'm oh I'm just, I just I don't know what to expect but I'm super excited to check this out so I'm not gonna do any more talking and we're just gonna go ahead and check it out right now so I hope you guys enjoy and yeah let's start <laughs> Okay. Ready? Oh wow. Still looks the same as when she left us. Giving like very traditional. I think I'm gonna like it. <laughs> Wow, so fucking beautiful. I just realized they were dancing in water. Those of you who are new to my channel, I love idols dancing in water. Ooh, the nails. I love that with the water! <laughs> I love this color on her. What is it? Like a light blue? Damn, she got the budget! She got the money! That made the beat drop like so much more better. Like that whole like zoom out with the hand. Mm. Wow. Is it bad to say those rocks look familiar? I feel like I've seen those in different music videos. Too short of a song. Wow. That just felt like a fever dream. That didn't even feel real. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, you guys, that was my reaction to Agashi by Sujin. I still don't know what that's supposed to mean, if it means anything. But, like, y'all, Sujin is back. She's back and she's ready to fuck it up. I. <sighs> she. I. I don't even know what to say. Her outfits and everything, and makeup, and like the hairstyle, like the hairstyle at the beginning, where it kind of was like, 
she had like that one headpiece in the back but it was like up in a bun oh i really liked that hairstyle on her like I didn't know what to expect for her solo debut to be honest with you guys, but the way that this was kind of very much giving like traditional Korean, even though she didn't like, she wasn't wearing like any like like hanboks or like modern hanboks or anything like that, it was still like, it still had elements of like a traditional Korean concept and obviously I wasn't expecting it, but like after watching that, it makes so much sense to give it to Sujin. I don't know, it just fits. Her so well, I, like like her like the voice like even her like vocals too with the like beat the instruments the sound it just everything goes so well together. I I'm just so in awe. How many views does this have? I didn't even check before. Thirteen million? I thought that there would have been more than that, but I mean that's still really good for her. Her channel actually almost has over half a million uh, subscribers, so, bruh, <laughs> she's back, and I am definitely checking out the rest of her album, for sure, but that's all I have for you guys for today, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, follow my social media links in the description below, and I'll see you guys all in my next video, bye guys!